We have the knife in the oven, blade down at the moment because it's only at 500 or so degrees because we are curing the clay on the knife. It's been drying for a while. It was dry enough that we put it in here a couple hours now. And at 500 degrees, it will start to temper the steel, which is, ooh, it's got that purpley kind of glow starting to go on the tip. So I'm going to put it blade side up so we can start to ram up the oven. So we did skip a few steps here just for the purpose of making the video. Before the clay goes on, I did normalize the steel, which is where you bring it up to critical and let it air cool nice and slow. And what that does is it relaxes everything in the steel and gets it ready for the quench, which is what we're going to do next. So I'm going to program the oven here to heat up to about 1500 or so degrees and it's going to soak for uh, 20 minutes and then we'll pop it out and put it in the quench. We just pulled the knife out of the kiln while it's heating up in the heat treating process. So we'll be, we've had it in here for about an hour, hour and a half after it sat and air dried for a few hours and uh, it was cooking at about 500 degrees and if you can tell the bluish kind of tones that it received from the tempering process. Um, we'll be coming back to that after we go through the heat treating process. So this is all coming up to it. Um, don't want the blade in there while it's coming up to temp because it will cause a lot of decarbonization on the blade, which is just going to make more work for the whole finishing process. So I'm going to put this down and wait for the oven to ramp up to 1450 where we're going to let this soak for about 20 minutes, kick it up just a little bit higher so we can pull it out and dunk it in the quenching and then we will move on to the next step in the process. This next part has to happen really fast. We're going to go from 1450 degrees to under 600 in right now. So you can see I'm shaking the knife up and down in the water and that uh, provides a break from all that boiling vapor which is going to prevent the edge from hardening. Now when it comes out you can see that the knife is actually two different colors. And the reason for that is the clay that we applied. On the spine, it's that good pale color, which is what you want to see coming out of a heat treatment. And the exposed tip of the blade part is a blackened area from oxide. So that's a chemical reaction that's going on between the steel and the oxygen in the environment. So at this point, the blade's cool enough that I can touch it. Just kind of checking it out, making sure there's no cracks, no warps, everything looks good. Fresh out of the quench, you're looking for that really nice pale white kind of color. The darker stuff around the edge is where the steel is exposed in the kiln and the oxygen of the air in the environment bonded with the carbon in the steel and that form, forms uh, what we call T-carb, which if you could see a little closer, we'll show you when it's cleaned up. It, actually gives it kind of like a pocked texture and at this point the file does nothing to it those little scratches are cosmetic it's actually scraping the dirt off but can't cut into it it's quite fragile at the moment there's a lot of stress still built up into the steel and the next step is going to be in our home oven because this one is going to take a few hours to cool down and we need it to happen quicker um, I'm just going to bring it back up to uh, 
a straw, maybe a little bit more on the blue side because this will be a rough and tough tumble style knife. But we're gonna draw the temper back out, so it's a full hardness now, and we're gonna take it and put some toughness back into the hardness of the knife, and that'll prevent the edge from cracking and crumbling uh, while you're using it, but also letting you still sharpen the blade because if this file can't cut it, you're not gonna be able to sharpen this at home if it's overly hard. So we'll clean it up and we'll temper it and we'll come back after that. Our next step is going to be to temper it. And what I like to do is pack it in salt. I got a big bucket of salt from like a wholesaler. I think after eight years of actually using it for food and curing meat and using it as a tempering device, I'm just kind of running out of my 30 pounds. But what's going on here is our oven is going to fluctuate between five, six hundred degrees of the burner and the airflow in there is not a constant steady temperature. However, the volume of the salt will heat up and maintain a more steady environment for the blade to sit in. So for the tiny bit of extra effort that this takes, it's totally worth it in the end. You don't have to use salt, sand, or I'm sure that there's an appropriate tempering media. You could probably use vermiculite or something. Mm -hmm. I had salt. I use salt. Salt works. All right, so we're gonna pop this in our oven for about an hour or two, and it's gonna get two to three cycles, depending on how it looks. I'll have to judge. I'll keep you posted on the updates.